right, Uncle Sam FM here, and this is the next episode of my American Football 19 series. I am currently with the USA Under 20s national team. Uh, I think I've got I've I, what I did. I, I my episode numbers are are kind of out of whack, at least on the video themselves. I wasn't going to post that France match um, just because the, something was going on on my computer and. I don't know if it was running something in the background, but the France video wasn't great. I went ahead and posted it anyway. Figured, you know what, you can skip it if you want. Um, but it's, you know, if you've watched it, you've seen that there's some oddities in it. But, you know, I didn't want to not post it. Um, so, anyway, the numbers got out of order. But it, we did get through the group stage, and we'll look at that real quick here. Uh, and I don't know, in the last video, I, I said that we were the last group stage match i don't know why i thought that i don't know what i was looking at I, but whatever um we did get through and we actually we got really fortunate in the draw as we are playing against saudi arabia but we'll look at all the groups real quick um obviously we finished second in our group behind brazil who won the group france finished third but they did advance spain and argentina um finished first second in group b and then egypt actually won group c over scotland who still advanced um Russia, Saudi Arabia, Morocco all advanced out of Group D. England, Colombia, and Iran advanced out of Group E. And then in Group F, you had South Korea, Serbia, and Peru all finish on five points. That's kind of an odd. I've never seen a three-way tie with five, but that's what happened. Each team had one win and had two draws. And um, South Korea and Serbia both finished on on the same goal scored and goals against. I don't know how South Korea got, you know, had won the tiebreaker, but they did. So probably on, on whatever the uh, fair play. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of how things shook out in the group stage. Um, interesting, interesting. Well, I did pay attention as it went. It was an interesting um, tournament to, to whatever pay to follow. So, um, but now we're, we are in the second round, and England did already advance with a 2 0 win over Peru. Scotland eliminated South Korea, so two of the home nations, if you're a British fan, advanced. And um, now we play Saudi Arabia, um, which I don't really know much about Saudi Arabia. Um, I, I looked at some of their squad as I was getting ready, and you can't see anything <laughs> so i don't really i you know nothing about them which is it's that's one of the things i've had to deal with with this team is it's really hard to prepare because i don't really know what i'm looking at you know uh, as i get ready to play against these teams so uh fitness still an issue still really frustrating christoph bach I, it's really frustrating he's just not recovering he has which you know he obviously it's probably to do with his six rating and natural fitness um but it's even that it's it feels extreme because he's had like 10 days or something since his last match so the fact that he's not recovering is really frustrating um so i actually had to play my one of my two um sixes he's starting now at the at the number eight position i don't want to put hallett in at the number eight but i just i feel like i need to get my guys that are fit and ready to go on the field so um i'll probably play hallett a half and then rotate him out hoping that he can get recovered in time for the next match so uh but let's go ahead and dive in um it's win or go home at this point um saudi arabia usa FIFA Under-20 World Cup 2023. And if we play our game, we'll win. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. And let's do this. All right. A little build up here right off the bat. Almost never score from right away. Ndungala came on to get the second goal of our um, group stage finale. So he's starting today at the, at the striker position, and hopefully he can get a goal. Santos throws it into Kiffy's goal goes wide. And I don't know that Kiffy is how you pronounce his name, but that's what I'm going with. So 
if your name is Kippy and it's something else, then hey, post something in the comments. Correct me. Why not? Yeah, there we go. Gala out to Kiff, Kippy, whatever. I'm just going to call him CF. Bungala to Hallett, who holds the ball, and then crosses it in, and Lewis, the left winger, with a goal, and we score in the first 10 minutes. But sometimes that can be a terrible thing, but Lewis just slips it past the keeper and finds the, the net, and we have a 1-0 lead. So Saravia has to come at us now. Not going to change anything yet. Hallett with a free kick. His goes over the bar. I don't have any good free kick specialists on this team, unfortunately. So I had a couple at Michigan State that was always... It made those free kicks a little more compelling. But I really don't... It's, like it's, it's rare that I even get a free kick on target. I almost wish I could tell him, don't, don't shoot. Well, there's one off the bar, and then Lewis finishes the rebound. Yeah, all right, kid's got a brace 20 minutes in. Watch this. Off the bar, Lewis volleys at home, and we are up 2-0. And now i got to think about it. if I want to leave everything as is. I don't really see any need to change just yet. A lot of times at 2-0, I'll go to my control tactic, but you know, I'll just sit on it for a little bit, see what happens. Ooh, nice! Oh, nice! Found Castellanos, who made a little run up from his midfield position, but the keeper saves the ball. Castellanos found the hole right there in the middle of the park. Oh, that's a bad giveaway right there. And we get a tactical foul. Are we going to get carded for that? Probably. And probably deserve it. And I think Wilfredo is on yellows. That hurts because he is easily my best defender. Go ahead and ease him off tackle so he doesn't get a red. Well, so there's less of a chance that he gets a red. Lewis to Nangala to Castellanos. Up to Lewis. Oh, thought Lewis was going to get an assist there to go with his brace. Jacob's long throw into Lewis, whose shot is, def or is blocked. Jacob's cross is blocked. And we are dominating this match. Saudi Arabia does not have a shot. They have only had 30% of the ball. Hallett with another free kick. And it's wide, of course. And it looks like we are going to go into halftime with the two. No Ooh, uh oh. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, get it. Yes, clear it. Oh, that was. Whew. All right, let's just get to the half. Gosling, I'm letting him alone. Gosling tries a through ball. Tries to take advantage of that pace, but Saudi Arabia does look like they're sitting with a deeper line. They must have been watching our other matches. Not sure who Gosling was looking for there, but okay. So good half. Um, we're up two nil. In the other match, Spain is up on Morocco one nil. At I guess at halftime there, Victor has scored in the sixth minute. Um, all right. I said I was gonna do it. I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm bringing in Bach. Um, no way he'll be fit now for the next match, but I. It is what it is. Go to pep talk. Uh, keep it going. I have faith. Say so, what? Well, let's. We're gonna switch to our control, and Wilfredo is on a yellow. So make sure we ease him off tackles, and let's see what happens. Oh, that's a bad foul. Get position. That was a that was a, a schoolboy error. 
fouling from behind like that and get position. Okay, so Saudi Arabia is they're challenging us a little bit. I'm gonna drop it off. Yeah, here we go. Apparently that worked. Or well, let's see. Here they're on the counter. Settles with a nice sliding tackle. Kal Kalanji. Ball to Reese. To Gosling. Got blonde hair. Even looks like kind of like Ryan Gosling. I think I've said that before already, though. Lewis back to Castellanos. Lewis to Dungala. Lewis shot and just wide. Dungala puts it in. Oh, somebody finished that. Dungala cross block out for a corner. 2 0. Still in the 52nd minute. Baku just can't get himself fit. Header by Kalanji. I tell you what, I, I'm probably going to sit around. I'm going to play another cycle with the U20s. And natural fitness is going to be something that I look at because that apparently is a really important attribute for this tournament because my guys are not getting fit. And, you know, I'm bringing Bach, and of course he gets a yellow card. Probably because he's fatigued. I need to tell my guys to concentrate, I think. So I gotta wait. Reese, move the hands. Uh, come on, yeah, let's concentrate. This, that never works for me though. Uh, the concentrate for these younger players, they do not react well to that uh, that shout. Gosling is fatigued. Normally I would look to sub him out, but I don't have another DM. The day is tackling. Damn, all right, let's, let's, let's bring him down. Why not? He'll play out of position, but looking more at the attributes than the. Mm, they are, we are we are not playing well right now. Gala back to Bach to Kiffy. To CK, I'll call it. Oh, nice shot, but it is headed over. Lewis crosses it in. Gone on back today. The to Jacobs. And that was kind of a hopeful ball. Hmm. We're just not I don't know what it is. Gala with a nice run with the ball, but then of course loses it. All right, ten minutes to go. Let's find another sub. We'll bring in a full back. Um. Saudi Arabia with a yellow. I mean, don't, I'm not afraid of losing, but we just need to <clears throat> make something happen here. Bach, Jacobs, today. To CK. Solanos' shot is wide. Hmm. Yeah, I just we're not playing very well. Yeah, this is the kind of chances that I like to create here. Lewis up to Jacobs, and he's dispossessed.
And McDowell's shot goes over the bar. <coughs> Reese puts it long to CK. Can't get there. And Saudi Arabia back on the attack. <laughs> And that's it. All right, two 0 win, but it was not it was not pretty towards the end. Um, that's was, I'm not happy with that. I need to I need to look at how I did things there. Um, looks like Spain did win. I guess that means Spain will be my opponent. I really can't say for sure. Um, we'll look at the tree when we get out of here. Um. Yep, so it would be us in Spain. That is that's not a good draw. Spain is um Spain is one of the better teams in the tournament. I I they're um at least from their results obviously can't see their ratings or anything. I can't believe like there's the international squad view. Like some of these guys play for Barcelona. Like why you know, maybe it was Barcelona's first team. I can't believe that we would just have nothing on some of these guys. The USA, the USSF needs to up their scouting. So, um, all right. So the next match will be against Spain. A um, couple of good results, right? The results are good. 2-0, two 2-0. Deal, two deal. I'll take that. But we um, did not play well after we got the lead. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I need to look at my, how we run things. So uh, it says unknown. But the tree shows Spain, so we should be playing Spain, I guess. I, I hopefully not, but um, I guess we'll see. So, all right, Uncle Sam FM, the quest for the cup continues. Can't, um, you know, we take it one match at a time. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we we maybe we get lucky, get a result against Spain, and move on. But uh, we're off to the quarterfinals. I'd say a good showing. Uh, if you can make it to the quarterfinals with the USA in the Under Twenty World Cup. That's probably pretty good. So uh, I will sign off, but I'll see you next time.